Hey you, good to see you, Spanky Valentine here. Welcome to my face. <laughs> All right, let's just go ahead and get the elephant out of the room. Clearly, my face is bald, my face is bare, my face is exposed <laughs> to all of you. Meaning I have not an ounce of makeup on my face. <laughs> Basically, since this video is all about skincare and finding your confidence, and I figured it would be kind of weird if I was just like covered in a batch of cake. Hence why I am just, I am just here. I am here for this, I am here for you. <laughs> <laughs> I know a lot of us face challenges when it comes to our skin, whether it's like overly dry skin, oily skin, acne prone skin, rosacea, eczema. Like I personally have been through so many different phases from really oily to tons of acne to really dry skin. So I'm gonna show you guys five natural DIY face masks and scrubs that you guys can do with products that are probably already in your refrigerator, but if they're not, all we gotta do is take a little trip to the grocery store. A couple of things before we get started that I always get asked no you do not have to do all of these masks at once this is just to show you the variety and again it's always a good idea to do a little spot test first to make sure you don't have any allergies before you proceed now what if your issue is dry cracked flaky itchy extra dry skin all right so you're in the grocery store you're doing your thing rolling down the aisles not picking up that junk food because you're being responsible and your mom's watching okay she'd be so disappointed in you put down that ice cream <laughs> Seriously, make your mama proud and grab a banana. Bananas filled with potassium. We know the drill with these things, but they are fantastic at hydrating overly dry skin. So this is going to be the premier ingredient for this first moisturizing face mask. You're just gonna grab the banana. You're gonna peel it open. We don't need that peel. Okay, get it out of here. And you're gonna use about one third of the banana. And we're gonna start to mash it up and prepare it for what we're gonna mix it with. One of my favorite bases for a lot of my DIY skincare masks is plain non-fat yogurt. Now, why would I put yogurt on my face instead of in my parfait, okay, with like the berries and the honey and like, you know what I'm talking about, okay, it's good. I like to use yogurt on my face because it is a natural source of lactic acid, which helps soften up like dry, harder, tougher skin. All right, back to the grocery store we go. Roll up in the aisle and we find that golden substance of glory. I am talking about honey. More specifically, I am talking about raw unrefined honey if you can. One of the great things about honey is that it contains tons of antibacterial and antiseptic properties and it also really hydrates meaning it's gonna clean out your skin and that's why we love it. So before I do my face mask I usually like to give my skin a nice steam. I picked up this little steamer uh, on Amazon for a few bucks. It was not expensive. I'll find a link to it or you can just use a hot water in a washcloth if you want to. It just opens up your pores and allows them to accept the most from your mask. You don't have to do it, but I like to do it. Now we're just going to slather on the banana mask mixture all over the face or just the specific areas that you want to treat. It is so soothing and cooling. We're gonna leave this on for about 15 to 20 minutes to let it really soak in, do a little dance, eat that rest of the banana, and then we're going to rinse it off in our sink to reveal soft, hydrated skin. All right, you're in the grocery store. You got a mission. You might be dealing with acne or eczema or rosacea, any of those type of skin conditions, and you're thinking, what can I do for them? Well, here's exactly what you can do for them. You are gonna slather mustard all over your face. Really? No, I'm totally just kidding. Do not do that. Let's take a detour and make our way on over to the spice aisle. There are so many different spices here that we could use on our skin. One of the ones that is an age old time tested remedy on your skin is turmeric. You might be thinking, Spanky, why would I put this yellow stuff all over my face and the reason is because turmeric has super anti-inflammatory properties so it makes it great for treating acne, psoriasis, eczema, dry skin, wrinkles, and dark spots. It brightens them all up. Like literally this is the super spice for your super face, so throw that in your cart, okay? Let's go. Let's get that super face ready. So I'm gonna use a yogurt base again and add about a tablespoon of that turmeric powder or fresh turmeric if you're feeling lucky. And I'm gonna add some honey for that antiseptic properties and we're gonna mix it up. You're gonna get a nice thick paste just like this. 
and get ready because, well, it, okay, it does smell like saffron. It's a little curry. That's all right if you can get past the smell. It's not too strong. Don't worry. But there is something so satisfying about painting this yellow paste all over the face. It's kind of like slathering 24 karat gold on your skin. I don't know why. It just feels luxurious. It is fun. So have fun with it. Leave it on for about 15 to 20 minutes or however long you want to treat. I don't recommend you eat the paste. Then we're going to rinse it off. Now you might notice that your skin may be a little stained yellow. That's because this powder is often used as a stain, but don't worry about it. All you need is a little soap and water and it will come right off. You can even use some oil to moisturize to wipe it right off and you will have soft, smooth, clean, clearer skin in no time. Yes. All right, we're back at the grocery store and we're thinking, hmm, Spanky, I have combination skin, meaning I got dry skin, I got oily skin. Sometimes it's got a mind of its own. I can't always figure it out. Help me balance this mess. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. First, you're gonna grab yourself an avocado. Whip around down the aisle and take a look at some extra virgin olive oil. Now this is one of the most tried and true, fantastic, hydrating, moisturizing bases for any of your skincare masks. You can literally put olive oil in all of these if you wanted to. I am in love with olive oil and avocado oil, so that's what we're gonna do. Now unfortunately, when I opened this avocado, clearly it wasn't like, you know, it's got some brown spots, but my mama told me we are not gonna be wasteful, okay? So I'm just gonna cut around those brown spots. If you guys wanna get a brand new avocado, if this happens to you, by all means, go to the store, get another avocado. But I gotta make this video. All right, so we are mixing all of those two ingredients together. Seriously, just two ingredients is gonna work wonders. And we're going to put it on the face. Now this can get a little messy. Uh, some of the avocado parts might fall off, so you wanna do this over your sink or a paper towel or just something to keep it clean, you know. And we're gonna put this all over the face. Yes, and we're gonna leave it on for another 15 to 20 and let it work its wonders, do it for the gram, take a picture, do a little dance, whatever you like to do. We're gonna rub it off and after we clean it, seriously, my skin has never been so silky soft as when I do this facial treatment, yes. Now what if you're perusing the aisles, you're thinking spanky, it's cute, like all these little foodie ingredients, but like I got some dead skin cells I need to slough off, okay? Like I wore a lot of makeup this week, maybe I didn't wash my face as thoroughly as I should that one time. Ugh. Back to the grocery store you go because you probably need to exfoliate and you could do it so easily. We are talking coffee, yes, a lot of us like to drink it. Coffee works as a beautiful exfoliant for your skin. Now there might be some debates on what type of coffee you use. You can use a whole bean that you ground up at home, but the easiest thing to do is get instant coffee. It has a heavier concentration of actual coffee and caffeine. Here's where you can make some micro adjustments. You can either use a lemon or you can use coconut oil or a little bit of both. Lemons are great if you have more oily prone skin. Now I know some people are gonna be in the comments like, oh, Spanky, you shouldn't use lemons on your face. That's bad advice. And you know what? This is something that I've done like once a week for a while when I had like really oily skin and it worked wonders for me. So again, it's all about testing it. If it works for you, it works for you. All right, so we're gonna have a nice thick paste. Now the coconut oil base is great because as the coffee beans exfoliate your skin, that oil is going to penetrate into that fresh new skin and really hydrate it. So we're gonna spread this all over the face and I'm gonna leave this on for about 15 to 20 minutes to let the caffeine really like do its work and like invigorate the skin. And then what you're gonna do is moisturize your fingertips and work those coffee grounds into the skin to exfoliate and slough off that dead skin and when you clean it off, fresh baby butter smooth is underneath waiting for you. Now what if you're in the grocery store and you're thinking, Spanky, I like what you've been showing me with all these DIY masks, but I don't necessarily want to treat like with this thing or that thing or whatever. I just want some general hydrating maintenance that's gonna keep my skin nice and healthy. Here's something that's gonna cost you about a dollar. <gasps> that's right, I said a dollar and it's gonna last you about a month. So holla! <laughs> I had to. Pardon my terrible jokes. So I am talking about the aloe vera plant. You can literally get a stock of this for like a dollar and it will last you quite a long time. So what I'm doing is cutting off just a small piece of it. You can go even smaller. This was actually more than I needed. And I'm just uh, cutting off all of the exterior, the skin of it to expose that nice gooey, soft, goldenly, not golden, but you know what I'm saying. Uh, now you could eat it if you wanted to. It's not my favorite thing, but what I like to do with it is slather it all over the face. Now you can do 
do this as a morning or an evening treatment in between your masks, or you can incorporate this in with your uh, usual moisturizers that you use. Aloe vera, I think we all know, is fabulous for the skin. It locks in moisture, it heals, it hydrates. Now, I, I found this uh, little two-piece face mask at a Japanese dollar store. Uh, it's just gonna help to lock in that moisture. I put this over the top of a lot of my masks so that they don't like air dry too fast. Peel it off in about 15 to 20 to reveal that nice glowing radiating skin and then you can just work in the extra aloe into your skin and leave it or you can rinse it off if you prefer and you're going to be so hydrated so healthy so glowy yes do it girl uh-huh all right guys i hope you enjoyed looking at these masks i hope you're not feeling as freaked out if you were about your skin because these are going to do wonders for you yes there are all types of food that you can put on your skin that are so cheap and natural and healthy for you. So if you enjoyed this, hit that subscribe button. And while you're at it, hit, the, hit that bell icon to be notified whenever I upload new videos. I've got a couple of fabulous videos selected for you right here that you can click or tap on to check out now. I will see you over there. And I will also see you right here on my channel in a day or two with a brand new video. Oh my gosh, with these rhymes, get me out of here. All right, I will see you next time. Get it? Do you see that rhyme? All right, love you guys. Smooches. Bye.